In a previous video, you've seen how well Armor Shield 9 does on a Garage Queen, but now we're going to find out how well it works on a daily driver or two. Alright everybody, welcome back to my garage. This is a follow-up video about Armor Shield 9, a nano ceramic coating that has been getting a lot of buzz lately. And in my previous video, I did an unboxing and application and results of it uh, that I've been really impressed with uh, when I applied it to my Corvette here. But now, like you figured out, uh, I want to also apply it to my daily drivers so we can follow up on it in the future. Uh, so what I did is I got my hands on a couple more bottles of it and started applying it. But before I get into it, there's a couple things I should mention. Since my last video, um, the, the, the formula seems to be a little bit improved on the Armor Shield 9. It's a bit thicker and it goes on a bit easier. And also updated are the application cloths. Um, the previous ones, as, as you saw in my previous video, um, were white and seemed to be kind of like on the uh, disposable side. But now you get a bunch of these higher... Um, quality, really decent black ones with the Avalon King logo. And it's nice to know that, uh, you know, a company is uh, doing continual improvements on the product and they are doing this because they're listening to the users. Even like from myself, I had some feedback on and they've already approved it on, improved upon it, that is. So now that I've said that, what do you say uh, we get that out of the way and then we get back outside and get to work? So here's what we're going to start with. This is my daily driver. It probably doesn't have really any paint protection whatsoever on it. Um, it's pretty, it feels pretty gritty and uh, needs, needs a good, <laughs> needs a good treatment. So we're going to strip everything off and we're going to apply the Armor Shield 9 and we're going to see how well it does. And then we're going to do my wife's daily driver as well. Same situation. Paint's really gritty and kind of rough feeling. A lot of bugs on it. And the one thing that I found is that uh, after using Armor Shield 9 on my Corvette, bug guts and junk just doesn't really like to stick to it you can it just wipes right off it's not the case here i mean this is really gross so we're going to fix this up too so i've prepped both vehicles the same way i did the corvette in my previous video which is to use an automotive safety greaser which usually i use just use dawn dishwashing liquid when i want to strip everything off the surface of the car paint and prep it for treatment and then you have to clay it but i don't use just clay i use griot's garage surface prep mitt it's a, it works a lot better than clay, but clay will still do, but this is a lot easier. And if you drop this, you can just rinse it off and keep going, which you can't do with clay. So a lot of people will get to this point where the vehicle is totally clean and they'll say, you know what, it looks pretty good. I guess I don't need to protect the surface. Well, you actually do, because when a car is dirty, the dirt isn't just on the surface, it's actually in the surface of the paint. There's microscopic little cracks and valleys and crevices that the dirt attaches to. and when you use Armor Shield 9, it uses nanotechnology to fill in those cracks with a super hard ceramic uh, uh, chemical base. And that will protect the paint, keep the dirt from getting in those crevices and settling in and then damaging the paint. So let's take a look at how water reacts to this unprotected paint. Okay, it might be hard to see, but the water wants to kind of sheet off, but that's gravity doing the work. You might be able to see it here that the water really just kind of wants to hang around. This surface, again, is unprotected, so the water molecules will want to sit in those microscopic valleys. That's where the Armor Shield 9 is going to fill and protect. So let's get on with it. Okay, so once the cars are properly prepped, I did a quick alcohol wipe down on it just to make sure that the surface was as clean and as pure as possible, and then it was time to do the application. So it's pretty easy, really. Um, the kit comes with a sponge like this and then a few of those cleaning cloths that I mentioned earlier, and so all you really got to do is just wrap the cleaning cloth around the sponge. It's kind of like an applicator sponge. And then uh, apply a few drops of the Armor Shield 9 right to it. And then when you do your car surface, you go horizontally and then vertically, one section at a time. Give it a couple minutes, depending on the temperature, and it's included in the instructions as to how much time to give. And then you buff it off also with the included buffing cloth, and then you move on to the next one. It's actually pretty simple once you get the vehicle prepped right. And you can check out my previous video for the details or just follow the directions when you get yours. So. I did the application as directed, and I drove the my car and my wife drove her car for about a week. And uh, here's how they turned out. Now I gotta give an apology here before you watch this next part. Um, apologies for the wind noise. It was slightly windy that day. But here, check it out. 
It's been a week since I properly washed, prepped, and applied the Armor Shield 9. And both myself and my wife have been driving our cars every day to work in that week. And uh, so far it looks really, really good. It's even been rained on and you really can't tell. That's one thing that Armor Shield 9 is awesome at, is hiding or preventing water spots and anything sticking to it. Even things like, like bugs. Bugs are a big deal because they're a pain to get off, but they just come right off without any problem. Any grease and grime, same thing. So let's see how it does with the water after one week. So obviously it works great. All right, so by now you're probably saying, okay, great, it looks pretty good after a week. Okay, but it's supposed to last a couple years or more. Well, here's the deal. I need you to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be doing another follow-up video in about six months after driving these cars almost daily and see how it holds up without any additional treatment. I expect it to do pretty good because so far I've been really impressed with it. Uh, by the way, that awesome sunny day uh, didn't stay sunny for too long. Check this out. So what started out as a really nice day turned into this, but look at how the rain reacts to the Armor Shield 9. This stuff is awesome. Meanwhile, the Garage Queen still looks like a million dollars. So after I filmed that, I waited about an hour after the rain stopped just to see how much water was left on the hood. It's been an hour or two since the last section of this video where my daily driver here was being rained on. And as you can see, it still beads up very, very well thanks to the Armor Shield 9. Let's see how the wife's daily driver is doing. Even better. Just because of the slope of the hood, you know, a lot of the water, uh, the rainwater has fallen off. But, um, Still, there's zero chance of uh, any sort of uh, water spots or anything like that. So once again, I'm definitely happy with Armor Shield 9. It's affordable, it's easy to apply, and so far, so good. I'm really impressed with it. Um, I highly recommend it, actually. And if you're ready to get yours, I'm happy to help you save some cash. As you probably noticed, if you use the link in the coupon code below, you can get 25 bucks off your order. Not bad. I love this stuff. In fact, I'm starting to come up with other ideas on how, what I can use Armor Shield 9 for. So stay tuned. And until then, thanks for watching, and feel free to ask any questions about Armor Shield right in the comments below. Talk to you later.